This week we cooked Yemen. A most beautiful, magical country with mountains that there's houses just perched on top as though it were a wonderland. We tried two dishes for Yemen, shakshuka and stuffed date balls. The shakshuka was so much fun because it involves layers of flavor from tomatoes to ground cumin and coriander and clove and then hot chili peppers diced up as hot as you can take it. Where are the eggs? <laughs> this is all eggs with um, tomatoes and things. Ava really enjoyed trying the shakshuka, even if she didn't really know what it was. Mom, is this an egg? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when it came to the dates, the stuffed date balls, I mean, this thing is so simple. You have three ingredients. You turn a date inside out, you pull out the seed, put it in an almond, and roll it into a ball and cover it with sesame seeds. The result is a vegan sweet that Apparently, my husband really enjoyed, which was a big surprise to me because I typically have not enjoyed dates. The lesson this week is when you're not particularly keen on a certain kind of food, it's better to keep it to yourself because if you tell your family members your preconceived notions, that might make them more hesitant to try the dish. If you let them decide for themselves, they're more likely to find something they love and embrace it and it even might get you excited about foods you haven't been sure about because I actually found my way to loving dates this week as well. So until next time, happy Stop Drop Travels from our Global Table Adventure to yours. Do you have any words that begin with Q? Cunornis. <laughs> Cunornis? What's that? Cunornis. What's that? <laughs> Cunornis.